Here's the Samsung Galaxy S24. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. Same for the Galaxy S24 Plus as well. Okay, so first thing is go ahead and turn the phone on. Press and hold that power button. Just keep on holding until you see the Samsung logo appear. Once it boots up, you should be here on the welcome screen. First thing is choose your language down here. I'm going to go with English. I'm going to tap on Start. For your review, go ahead and read through these. You must select at least two of these up here in order to proceed. This third one here, I agree, sending diagnostic data to Samsung. That one is optional, so that's up to you. But for me, I'm fine having all of them selected. I'm going to tap on Agree. Easy setup with another device. Sign in automatically and copy settings accounts and more from another phone or tablet. Keep your other phone or tablet nearby unlocked. So if you want to go ahead and transfer your settings and whatnot, you have another Galaxy phone or Android phone or an iPhone or an iPad, or you can set up manually. For myself, I want a fresh, clean slate. I will go with set up manually. Choose Wi-Fi network. You can skip this and do it later, but I'm going to go ahead and do it now so I can get that update. So let me connect to my Wi-Fi here. Let me enter my password. After you put in the password, tap on connect. You can see it's connected right there. Connect to a mobile network. You have several options here. You can do this now or you can do it after setup. For myself, I'm going to go ahead and do it after setup. And what I'll do is I'll put an actual physical SIM card in there. Okay. So for myself, I'll tap setup later in settings. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. So if you want to do that, you can tap on next here and you will need an Android phone, iPhone, or Galaxy phone, or an iPad, okay? But for myself, I'm gonna go click on the back button here, and I'm gonna click on Don't Copy because I want a fresh, clean slate on this phone. Your Google sign-in, basically your Gmail, you can go ahead and sign in now, or you can skip later. For myself, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip later. Skip for myself. Google services, use location, allow scanning, send diagnos send usage and diagnostic diagnostic data all this is optional okay so it's it's a preference okay for me i'm fine having those all toggled on and i will tap on accept protect your phone basically with a password you can do pin password pattern fingerprint face recognition or you can go ahead and skip it and do it all later i would recommend do something right now at least for myself i'll just go ahead and put a pin in and it's a six digit so let me type it in once and i'll have to reconfirm Okay, it's one time. Now I'll tap on next right there. I'm going to go ahead and confirm one more time. Okay, and I'll tap on OK right there. Okay, and then later on, I mean, later on, I'll probably end up doing the face ID password as well. Sign into your Samsung account. You can put your uh, email, phone number, or you can use a QR code. Or for myself, I'm not going to sign in now. So I'm just going to click down here. It says forgot password or don't have an account. I'll just click on that and I'll just set up later in settings. So I'll worry about that later. Okay, that's set up later. I had to keep tapping it for some reason and finally went to the next page. And this is just saying why you need the Samsung account. You can go ahead and read through that. So I'm still going to skip, but I'll do this like at another time. Samsung service legal information. So the terms and terms and conditions, you must select that one. And the other three down here are optional. So that's going to be up to you. I'm going to leave those other ones unselected. And then slide all the way down and it turns to agree here. So go ahead and tap on that right there. Samsung service permissions, go ahead and read through that. If you agree, tap on agree. Choose your display mode. You want light or dark. Most of you will go with dark. I like dark as well, so I'll go like that. I'll tap on next. You're all set up. Let's tap on finish right there. And voila, we are in business. So the next video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install the physical SIM card. Okay.